Uh, good morning. It's um, Monday, November the 20th. Um, from the May Inn in France. Welcome to my channel. Um, it's a brisk morning this morning. Um, outside, it's 9 degrees centigrade. And in Dave's workshop, where we are now, it's 10 degrees centigrade. So what's that? 50 degrees Fahrenheit or thereabouts, I guess. Anyway, a little update on the Steger hedge cutter um, failure. Uh, I emailed Steger France with um, the problem and what part needed replacing. And uh, as as expected, they want me to take it to a local, um, one of their recognised repair dealerships, and uh, pay for it to be diagnosed. I expected this, so um, I won't be using Steger anymore um, because when you ask for a part to be replaced under warranty, you have to go through hoops and rigmaroles and and it's just all I want is that gear will they give it no <clears throat> so goodbye Stiga um I don't know where to go next at the moment so um one of uh, the comments I received was um uh you buy cheap you pay twice I agree with that. I completely agree with that. But it wasn't cheap. And Steger is supposed to be very high up there in uh, professional quality and customer service. Well, they've proved me wrong. So, yeah. I've got to move forward. So, anyway. Um, that aside, um, today's task will be basically um, leaf collecting. Uh, ready to go to the dechetterie. Um If I get a chance, I've got to plane some wood down. Uh, I might film that, uh, but I might do. This might be a compilation of of uh, snippets throughout the week, and I think it will be because uh, I don't think there's a lot really that you would be interested. I mean, collecting leaves. You're not going to watch me collecting leaves, are you? So. Uh, Yes, uh, so this is just a brief update on the Steger. So uh, what I'll do is I'll do my stuff. If I find something interesting, I will, um, of course, record it. So I'll catch you later. Oh, hello. Welcome to uh, Dave's workshop again. Um, it's um, Thursday. Um, nothing's really gone on this week. Um because of the weather um so it's just general house duties type of thing you know the stuff a house husband uh, needs to do um which i don't mind doing because i mean at the end of the day my wife works here in france i i'm trying still trying to get a remote um role doing it fully remote um but you know they're just i don't know they're just not out there well, they are, and I'm not looking in the right place. I'm just primarily using LinkedIn. Anyway, I digress. So, uh, yeah, it's just catching up, basically. Um, what I've done today is drive to uh, Laval, uh, pop into the shops, get rid of some rubbish, pop into the, uh, the house that we're doing up near Laval, uh, just to assess what I need. Um, equipment wise and um, assess uh, how it's looking and everything's fine um, I just need to pull my finger out and um, get on with it and that will be starting next week um, what else is that um, I've just taken Una our little dog out for a walk and found we may have another mole so uh i think i might have to investigate i'll take my equipment with me and uh see what's occurring 
Anyway, shall we do that? Yes. Right, first thing we need is gloves, both sets. Right. Right, let's put the gloves on because moles do not like human scent. <laughs> yeah, it's a temporary thing. I know what you're thinking. Right. So I need that. I need this. These. Even. And I need the mole trap. Let's go and hunt for a tunnel. Well, the tunnel is quite visible. As you'll see, we I, I did deal with a mole not so long back. Around here. But I did spot this earlier. Here it is. You see? That's uh, relatively fresh. Now, I need to establish where that tunnel is going. See, it's going that way. No. Ah, there it is. See, now I've found it. I can now dig for it. No, it's not there. It's definitely there. See, I think it's here. Sorry, plants. It's definitely there. So I've got to dig a hole now. I don't know what I'm whispering. The exits clear. I 
Okay. Now, I've got to remember how to set this now. So it's... Oh, here we go, yeah. Got to be very careful with your fingers with this. Oh, come on. A few moments later. There you go. There's another set. And then just plonk it in. And cover it up. Because they don't like light, obviously. And then keep the markers in place. Now that is a trap set. What I've got to do now is wait. Trying to find for dips in the ground. Well, that's a dip anyway, because that's Una. Are there any more? No more. Well, that's it for today. Um, I did uh, throw a video out yesterday, which I, I've now, I shouldn't have really. Um, and it was to do with uh, a near-death experience back in the 80s when I was in the Air Force. Now, I, I basically used, um, I wrote this down and then I um, compressed it um, to the bare bones and then ran it through chat GPT and see what uh, it, it would come up with and then I uh, used it um, ran it through another AI video generator or no a text uh, a speech generator not a video editor and um, and the narration is is what they came up with from the chat GBT which to be honest I thought was really good um, I did post it and then I I've, I've, I've put it I've set it to private because I'm not sure you really want to know how the Royal Navy rescued five of us off a beach or off a cliff edge. Um, in Cornwall. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it's, it's back to private. If you want to, if you want to look at it, listen to it i've i've thrown the video together it's just the the chat side of it the dramatization effect of the rescue was ran through ai so if you want to see it i'll i'll relist it if not then i'll it'll stay private anyway i'll catch you later i'll sh i'll tell you the results tomorrow Thanks for watching.